Hey, Carl here with Columbia Water Gardens, and today I'm in High Springs, Florida. And if you can tell, it is pouring rain everywhere. I don't even know how to get across the street right here. I literally, well, look at this. Just running water, it's bad. Danny, I can't cross. Save me, Danny. Lightning, thunder, here comes another one. I'm gonna be testing water out here. And I'm going to be looking at some of the streams and some of the lakes out here. And I've, I just went over here to a local pet store and picked up a uh, water chest kit. So I'm going to show you what the water chests out in nature versus your pond. I'm going to give you a little bit of a lesson on water parameters. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. I want to give a shout out to Tiffany over at Scales and Tails. She has a really nice little pet store and she's got some fish, uh, aquariums, uh, lizards, snakes. And one of the things that I really appreciate whenever I go into a pet store is, is a clean environment, things are in place, but more importantly, check this out. You go inside the store, you've got product everywhere. Look at the clean, healthy water. She has just about everything you can need. Aquarium lamps, UV lights, tanks, lizards, whatever it is that you need. But the most important thing that I needed besides all this great product that she had on the shelves was this, a water test kit. So I got in and out of there for just like right in the mid $30 price range, which is about right for this for this product here. And uh, we are ready to go and find our body of water. But the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out where to go. So when you're out of town and you want to know where all the great local stuff is, the best place to go is a family owned and operated coffee shop. You're going to get your caffeine fix and you're going to get to talk to the locals. So I'm going to go inside and I'm going to find out where the prettiest, most beautiful body of water is that's close by and I'd be willing to bet you that they know exactly where to go. Let's go see what happens. in town so I'll be willing to I've got the best coffee shop in town so you know I've heard about all these springs that are around here I want one that's like crystal clear blue water something that's gonna pop in a maze definitely uh, I would definitely say blue springs blue overall. springs yeah how do There's I get a lot there of pretty ones, is it far away no not at all maybe 10 minutes at the how do you just make a left to the light and then make a right on the Okay, cool. Not far off. Um, how about just like a regular house coffee to go? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so there it is. We're going to go to the springs. It's just a few miles away from here. These guys are going to hook me up with some coffee and we are out of here. So oftentimes I get asked uh, throughout social media, how do we test our water? We've got sick fish, we've got problems going everywhere. And so what I've done here is I've brought you out here to Florida in the Panhandle right next to the Everglades. And behind me there's a beautiful pond over here that I'm gonna jump inside of and I'm gonna get some samples. And I'm gonna show you exactly how this is done. But let me show you the kit that I like to use. I like to use the Aquarium Pharmaceuticals Freshwater Master Test Kit. You're gonna buy it pretty much at any local uh, pond shop or pet store for about 32, 35 bucks or so. And that's a good price. That's about an average fair price. Let me show you what's inside. Now, when you open this thing up, your first thing that you're gonna see is you're gonna see a bunch of cards like this, okay? Now these cards here, they're gonna show you what your results are supposed to be. And let me start here with the pH. 6.0 is on the acidic side, 7.6 is, um, is on the alkaline side. We kind of like to see our pH in our ponds somewhere in the high range of about 7.4, 7.8, okay? So I'm not sure what the pH is gonna be in the pond behind me. Ammonia, 
Ammonia, this is uh, an indicator of how much uh, basic fish waste and so on that has not been decomposed inside your pond. We always want our ammonia levels to be dead zero, dead zero. Nitrite, same thing. We want your nitrite to be absolutely dead zero and your nitrate, we want them to be dead zero. Now let me show you where your lethal areas are. If your pH is below 7.4, taking ourselves down to neutral at 7.0, anything below 7.0 is acidic. And this acidic is going to kill your nitrifying bacteria that are converting your nitrate into nitrite and your nitrate into and decomposing your ammonia. So here's where a lot of people lose fish is where their ammonia levels are in the 0.25 and above where it goes all the way down to here. If your ammonia levels are above 0.25 here and you're dropping down to 0 0.5, 0 0.1.0, 2.0, 4.0, .0, this is a pond killer right over here. What's worse is, is if your nitrites are out of whack. We want your nitrite to be zero. If you're around 0.25 or 0 0.50, again, these are pond killers. Oftentimes I see people that have sick fish that have low pH, high ammonias, high nitrite. The nitrate, which is the end of your nitrogen cycle, the nitrate, this is basically your plant food. And when you have a perfectly balanced pond, you are zero, 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 and right at about 7.4. I like to keep our pH on the high end a little bit here as opposed to neutral because at the high end we've got a little bit of a bit of a buffer between 7.4 and 7.0 so we are, our pH is going to fluctuate throughout the daytime based on photosynthesis in your pond and I'm going to explain that to you in a different video. So inside this you've got your high range pH test and it basically tells you what you need. You need to add five drops to the vial the regular pH test that tells you that you need to add three drops. This is a very, very easy, very easy um, test kit. Now, ammonia, there's, there's an agent and a reagent. So bottle number one, you're gonna add eight drops. Bottle number two, you're also going to add eight drops. But when you're testing for ammonia, you're gonna to want to um, let this sit for about three or four, you know, three or four minutes for the reagent to, to, to completely finish up. One of the common mistakes that people are going to make is after they load up their test tube here to five milliliters, then instead of using the cap here, they'll use their finger and that contaminates what's happening inside here. So we do not recommend using your finger to test it with. We recommend using the cap here, put the cap on, test it with the cap and let it sit next to the reagents that you're gonna be using. The reason why we want you to have it sit next to the reagents is because that way you don't get it mixed up. Pretty simple stuff, right? And then we're gonna come over and we're gonna take a look at nitrate and we're gonna take a look at nitrite. Same thing, add 10 drops, add 10 drops, and here we have our vials and um, we're ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put all this stuff away I'm gonna go jump inside this pond because I'm terribly hot and humid outside here in Florida. And I'm gonna fill up these vials. I'm gonna bring them back over here to the table. And together, we're gonna to go ahead and test this water and we're gonna see if it's safe for fish. So now that I've got our water samples, let me show you what we do next. We have to pour off water down to five milliliters over here in each one of these vials. So I'm just gonna kind of give it a little bit of a tap and drops at a time, not too much. Boom, right on the money.
We're gonna perform four tests today. First and foremost is, is we're gonna test our nitrate. Then we're going to test our ammonia. And then we're gonna test our high range pH. And the reason why I wanna test the high range pH is because um, I really, again, like I wanna see and hope that our pH is in this higher level over here, okay? Um, the low range pH, I'm gonna kinda set this off to the side over here. And then of course we're gonna test our nitrite. So um, each one of these bottles here, it tells you right on the front how many drops you need to add. So you don't even need to look at the instructions. You just basically do what the front of the bottle says. This water is absolutely perfect. If you have a pond at home and you're coming back with water parameters that look like this, you win an A+. Let me show you what's happening here. We've already waited a few minutes uh, in, in the background to let these reagents dry and I went ahead and I lined them up according to the color chart here so that you can see them uh, clearly. This right here, this is a beautiful, perfect shade of light uh, brown here, your pH is obviously a 7.4 and this is ideal this is absolutely ideal now i want you to know this is the first time i've ever tested the water in this body of water here behind me i'm just telling you what my professional expectations would be and it is dead on the money i'm so excited this is your ammonia level now ammonia this is a tricky little sucker here because your ammonia sometimes can take some somewhere up to four or five minutes for the reagents to completely give you an accurate reading. Oftentimes, if you just put your agent reagent in, shake it up and look at it, it's gonna default to this beautiful shade of yellow. But if you wait three, four, five minutes, then you're gonna start to see what the true color is. And we are absolutely dead on zero right over here, dead to zero. Um, if we waited for another four or five minutes and it continued to climb up in the green over here, then you would know that you have a very serious problem. And I'm gonna tell you what to do about that in a minute. Third is your nitrite. Nitrite is the very beginning of your nitrogen cycle. I'm gonna explain that to you in a different video, but your nitrite here, again, is absolutely dead perfect. You want this perfect shade of blue right here. And finally, your nitrate. Now, not all master test kits are gonna come with the nitrate, and I'm really glad that this test kit came with it. Oftentimes, they'll come with phosphate, but phosphate really, your high phosphate levels generally just kinda of show that your pond is gonna be prone to a, an algae outbreak with like string algae or phytoplankton. But here, again, your nitrate level is at dead zero. So, this pond behind us is an amazing, amazing water feature. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my GoPro. I'm gonna do a little bit more swimming inside there and take you around and let you see and explore this body of water and take a look at some of the fish that are swimming around underneath and take a look at some of the other wonders that it has. And at the end of the video, there's gonna be links for you to check out some of the other stuff that we put up there and be sure to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens and I'm here to remind you that testing your water parameters matters, importantly. Happy ponding.